Hello, I'm Joe Holden from CBS 3 in Philadelphia. Let's start with a look at our forecast with meteorologist Lauren Casey. Thanks so much. Well, as we head into tonight, another cool one in store can keep those windows open again. We're dropping back below average 61 degrees, partly cloudy, keeping around a little bit of a breeze out of the northeast at around 10 miles per hour for our Monday, our fourth day in a row with high temperatures only in the 70s, comfortable, partly cloudy conditions, breezy at times as we head into Tuesday, another day of 70s, but then it all comes to an end as we head into Wednesday. That humidity ramps back up 85 degrees with scattered downpours and thunderstorms especially late in the day and into Wednesday night, but then the humidity drops back off again as we head into Thursday, Joe. Lauren, thank you. A child is in critical condition tonight after falling out a second story window in Center City. Eyewitness News here in the 2300 block of Naudane Street. Police say a five year old boy fell out that second floor bedroom window. We found a screen on the ground outside the home. The boy was rushed to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for treatment. A 14 year old boy remains in critical condition after he was shot in the back of the head and in his back. It happened Saturday night on the 5700 block of Willows Avenue in the city's King Sessie neighborhood. Police today said the boy got into an argument in an elementary school yard moments before bullets started flying. There are no arrests. Another teen is recovering after being shot this afternoon in North Philadelphia. Police say the 16 year old was shot in the stomach in the hallway on the seventh floor of this apartment building along North 10th Street. His condition is not known. No arrests have been made in this case either. Police in Philadelphia foiled a burglary attempt overnight, arresting a man found on the roof of the Pratt check cashing store. A SEPTA police officer was on the platform of the L just after one this morning when he saw movement on the rooftop of that business. Officers arrested the man who they say had attempted to pry the roof open in sections. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and much more right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Joe Holden.